stop paying the Microsoft Office subscription fee. Every year, you just keep paying Microsoft to use Microsoft Office, but you really don't need to. Firstly, are you even aware that there's another paid for version of Office that doesn't require you to pay every year? So let's start with that, and then I'm gonna show you some free options as well. Remember the olden days where you just walked into a shop, you paid for something, and you didn't have to enter into this lifelong relationship of a subscription fee? Well, Microsoft kind of wants you to forget about those days too, as they want you to pay every single year to be part of their Microsoft 365 program. But you don't need to. Microsoft actually has an option to buy offers for a once-off fee instead of renting it on a yearly basis. If you just need Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and you don't need Outlook and OneNote and Publisher and Access, then this is a great option, especially if you don't intend on installing offers on multiple computers, phones, and tablets. I will have a link to this in the description below so you can pay a once-off fee rather than renting it on a yearly basis. So that's the paid for version. What about the free options? Well, let's start with the obvious one, but one that really isn't being used for some reason. That is office.com, which is Microsoft equivalent of Google Docs. Head over to office.com, log in with your Microsoft account, and you have access to programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, as well as a whole bunch of others all for free, and you can even share your docs with others as you can with Google Docs. The nice thing is that this works on mobile too with either a dedicated Office apps or through a regular browser. Now, whilst the cloud-based apps are pretty nice and convenient, they obviously are a stripped down version of the full apps. So what if you want the full power of Office for free in an installable app on your computer. Well, then you have options. You need to look at free productivity suites like LibreOffice, OpenOffice, WPS, and a whole bunch more. But let's address the three biggest misconceptions that are out there. The first misconception is that these apps only run on Linux. The second misconception is that these are free, therefore they must be crap, or at least full of ads. And the third is that there is an issue with Microsoft Office and having compatible files. Only one of these is partially correct, the rest mm, are not. So let's start with where you can actually install these. So because these are all free, you can try a whole bunch. For example, here's libreoffice.org. Simply click on the download and you can see that it's available on Linux as well as Mac OS and Windows. Click the download, follow the installation process. The same applies to openoffice.org. We've got wps.com and click on the download. And again, now you have a whole bunch of options. So misconception number one that's only available for Linux is clearly busted. Let's move on to the next misconception that it's full of ads and it's pretty crap because it's free. Well, you have a look at this and you tell me. Right, this is the LibreOffice setup that I have. On the left-hand side, you're able to create your documents. And I'm gonna go show you a couple of little features in here. This is LibreWriter. I mean, come on, tell me this doesn't look exactly like Word, down to the contextually changing menus in the ribbon. Everything looks and feels exactly as you're accustomed to. Therefore, this is a very, very easy transition, including the ability to personalize and customize your entire environment, just like the way that you want it to work. So let's move on to Excel version which is called calc and in here you can see again things like that you're used to right click on the cell you can choose format the cells make it into currency you can run your formulas as you did before very very easy to get used to same goes for the presentation if you create lots of presentation well you've got a tool for that here as well and again it includes all the features i mean even the fonts and the clip art looks exactly the same as what you're used to on the microsoft office equivalent but this is free and as you can clearly see, there are no ads. So I don't know where that little theory came from, but if you just use it for two minutes, you can clearly see there are no ads. Okay, what about compatibility issue? Okay, well, this one is kind of partially correct. Microsoft uses propriety fonts, images, and sometimes even styles that don't really translate well when you open up in something like LibreOffice. Right, so this is a resume template that I went and I found using the normal Microsoft Word template. I'm gonna make some changes to this. I don't know, like don't forget to subscribe, <coughs> hint, hint. All right, now let's save this little template and then let's open this up in LibreOffice. So open file, there is the docx file. I didn't have to change the extension, simply open it and voila, there it is. The only thing I've noticed is there's a couple of spaces which are different between this document and the original. Look, I've never had a case where I couldn't open a file. However, I have had cases where the file formatting was a little bit off.
So clearly this is something you need to be aware of, especially if you're working in teams where you're constantly sharing documents. And of course, this isn't really a big deal if all you're doing is creating documents for yourself, right? So a pro tip that I've learned, in whatever productivity suite you happen to choose, make sure you set up Calibri font as the default font, as that is the font that offers users. And make sure that you save the default file saving to be office file format. This way, you're not gonna have much issue when you share these documents with people. And now that you're exploring the path to free apps, what about trying out Linux for free without removing Windows? Or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video. And I'll see you in both. Let's go.